life, though. I see. Sforza, you took Ancona for your own with the Duke's money and arms. He has sent me to bring you to justice. Piccinino stalks us like a wolf, but the hungry dog fights harder. Bring the relic of San Ciriaco to the churches, and the cities will join us. In Boca Alupo, cousin. Hey, how are ya? Noxus Flack here, and welcome to another Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition single player campaign video. We are going to continue the Sforza Italian campaign as we have just completed part one yesterday and we are about to complete part two, his own man. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe, and without a further ado... After the wars with Venice, Visconti made sure he got his gold's worth out of us. He sent Sforza south to enforce the Duke's claims in Romagna. I think the Duke was having second thoughts about Sforza. After we left, Piccinino and his men followed us. Sforza could see through the plot. Although he was betrothed to the Duke's daughter, he knew Visconti was fickle. He also knew that being a landless condottiero was a risky proposition. Sforza needed to be his own man and have his own land. A refuge if the machinations of his employers turned against him or if they demanded justice for Sforza's own treachery. What better opportunity than to use Visconti's weapons and money to his own benefit by making himself the ruler of a city? I'm enjoying this story. I, I, I know it's not Assassin's Creed, but I'm getting that vibe. But, uh, like, I'm just a mercenary, and now I need to settle down. I, I like it. I'm gonna and I'm gonna build my own city, which is really sick, and I'm very excited about it. Love that music. Destroy Piccinos military buildings. Bring the relic to monasteries to capture cities. Okay. I presto. I see. Sforza, you took Ancona for your own with the Duke's money and arms. He has sent me to bring you to justice. Piccinino stalks us like a wolf, but the hungry dog fights harder. Bring the relic of San Ciriaco to the churches, and the cities will join us. In Boca Alupo, cousin. Alright, I'm a little worried about my current prospects economically speaking, so I'm building a scout. So I'm also creating control groups. All right, so we need to get to this city. Can I get there by land, or do I have to use this ship? Because I just want to be clear, I don't want to use that ship. Are there walls? Of course. Okay, so hypothetically. Seems to Cousins, there are many unemployed condottieri seeking patrons. We should find and recruit them. I have heard Sigismondo Malatesta is among them. He would make a great ally. Alright, so we should probably... ...check out the uh, countryside for right. right. That's what they're saying. I love that I have a siege tower. I'm not entirely certain I'm going to do it, but I have a siege tower. Alright, so this is gonna be a little tricky, but we're going to park that bad boy right there. Presto, ago. No! The monk has been killed and the relic lost. That was stupid. We are defeated. Next level. What if I just hit next level? Oh, okay, understood. Got it. Sforza, you took Ancona for your own with the Duke's money and arms. He has sent me to bring you to justice. The 
Let's see if we can do this. Stalks us like a wolf, but the hungry dog fights harder. Bring the relic of San Chiriaco to the churches and the cities will join us. In Boca Alupo, the relic of San Chiriaco has inspired this town to join us. We will now begin receiving bread, lumber, and gold from the townsfolk. Oh, you dropped the relic so you can... Sick. Like a holy man canvassing around with a saint's relic? I know who you truly are, Sforza. I'm Sane. You don't know who I am. Okay, so that went a lot better than expected. I want you to explore. I want you all to take a stop here. So I think this time we're going to go Siege Cousin, Tower there over are the many wall in there. Gondo Thierry seeking patrons. We should find and recruit them. I have heard Sigismondo Malatesta is among them. He would make a great ally. So basically, he's gonna find him. Hello. Hi. Definitely into that. So right now, I'm just going around the map collecting. The ram, I'm gonna go ahead and say, very useful. That's an enemy camp. Uh, sorry, Scout. This is your purpose, though. Chase, can you help? Unfortunate. Dang. Anyway. Oh, so he can't go in that. Message received. I was really hoping he could go in that. Control group zero. All right, come on over here. Doing something down. We've done it. Okay, so that's two cities captured. This one appears to be offering siege support. That's fine. Presto. Ago. Why don't you uh, walk over there and do some scouting for me? Thank you. All 
right, so I actually have a lot of resources now. I bet you stay here. Um, once you're done, we're gonna do that. Um, So first things first, we're going to do a little scouting here to make sure there's no more free units I could pick up. There's probably going to be an aqueduct blocking everything, which is fine, but free units. I appreciate how it acts like a wall. Yeah, no. Okay. Nextly. Nextly. what the path here looks like so gate huge army got it yeah Alongside a man like Francisco Sforza, may this alliance between two men of honor be long lived. A nice, pleasant surprise. That was a pretty cool discovery, I gotta say. Fire. Keep firing. enough to actually uh, destroy the enemy forces, but it was cool. No denying that. I'm gonna build four ramps. And I just need to get my monk to walk here. But uh, I think at this point we actually need to destroy them. There's no uh, halfway situation here.
So we're slowly gaining resources. It's a little annoying. I also know that they have a pretty sizable amount of cavalry, so I wouldn't mind like pikemen instead of spearmen. I feel like I got a wing, which kind of stinks, especially for a video. If every mission was just building a base, it would be boring, but I feel like my hands are tied behind my back when I don't control the villagers and I can't build more villagers. You battle. kind of boring I'm sorry but I, I mean what can I do I gotta wait for the resources to come Furnace. Oh. I, I 42 go. units. Let's get the monk out. Let's make I, the I, units. Sunny. Better. I, gotta spend I, all this mo sunny. money Fresco. on their Fresco. armor. Might as well heal them. Impero, 
Ein Ago. Pressane. Ein Porro. Press ein Impero. Ein Presto. Impero. Ago. Presto. Comita. Ein Impero. Right. Sane. Ago. Ein. Presto. Presto. Impero. Porro. You'll do that. Ein. Ago. Presto. Ein. You are the support. Ago. And. Gonna need more armor. And then as the resources come in, we'll get more upgrades done for the units. After we uh, capture this city, while that is all the cities captured, we will still have to destroy Pisanianos, I don't know how to pronounce that, military buildings, which is the red country, Aye. so we'll go north first. Puño, porro, comigo, puño, sane, ain, sane, ago, ain. It's fall in the game. The trees are very pretty. More armor for the archers. Okay, so that went really well. Presta this is red. Oh my gosh, the whole game could have been lost right there. Yeah, you guys can just start doing that. Correct. Increase the damage of our GNE's crossbow. So once he makes it to the chapel, we're good. Our rams are already attacking the red base to the north. You bring such honor to our family name, Francesco. We are now strong enough to strike a pitching in. Ballistics. Sorry, but you need to survive. Oh, it went right into the range of the castle. That was pretty convenient. I'm gonna take this base out next, and then do we have a stable? I'm gonna scout the western part of the map. Keep up the healing. Any other upgrades? Now we're good. Impero, presto. Porro. Sane. 
Going in with a bunch of damaged people is a great way to lose all your people very quickly. Yeah, yeah, make them come over here. Puño. Ay, ago. Sane, ay. All right, and then you just what is over there? Impero. Ay, ago. Presto. Fifty people. Comita. Start heading your way there. Impero. Ay. Sane. So that is a problem. I cannot tell exactly if there's military buildings here or if it's just a city, but I'm probably gonna have to deal with both, unfortunately. Ay. Salve. Sane. Correcto. Presto. Ay, sane. Impero. Porro. Ay, ago. Comita. Sane. Ago. Puño. just a bit tedious because I can't control my own uh, economy. Presto, impero, ay, porro, ay, puño, ay, correctus. Presto, impero, sane, ay, are you going in? Impero, sane, ay, ago, ay, sane. Go, go, go! Ay, ago. Ay, presto. Sane. Presto. Sane. Ay, presto. Sane. Ay, ago. Ay, 
Sale. Aigo. Sale. Comida. Puño. Aigo. Sale. Comida. Those are cannon towers. Sale. Aigo. Puño. Aigo. Sale. Puño. Comida. Puño. Comida. Aigo. Puño. Comida. Puño. Puño. Comida. Cunning now, Sforza. You waste away so many men and so much wealth trying to defy your superior. So the bombard towers are the main issue. After that, this castle's a military building, and uh, there's siege buildings back here. I mean, it's just going to be a bloody mess. Unfortunately, I think I attacked a little early, although I did make progress, so I, I don't really feel like I wasted my time. Oh, hold up. I can build trebuchets. Gonna heal in the castle. Ein Sane, Pero, Ein Ago. Press Ago. Ein Presto, Porro, Impero, Puno, Presto, Sane, Comita, Ein Impero, Ein Ein Ago. Alright, so that is the siege force complete. Well, really, I want the trebuchets. I want to want two of them. I need more resources. possible. Be cool if there was another secret force of mercenaries. Getting the, getting the vibe that that's not the case. Yeah, it's not the case. You go over there. I know it's to your death, but like, I want to know what's up. I'm there. Alright, so there's a lot of military buildings back there. I think I've learned what I needed to learn. Ein. I'm gonna do the conscription. 
option. I know my biggest problem is I can't get the resources fast enough, but it'd be nice if they got built really, built really fast. So I got enough gold, just need enough wood for that second trebuchet. Control group six. Stance. Made the castle a control group. So I can quickly just grab more Chinese crossbowmen when the time comes. Ein presto ago impero ein ago sane ein pugno presto ein sane porro impero ein. ago ein ein comita ein sane ein porro sane ein sane ago ein impero presto sane Alright. I should solve that problem. Of course one will miss. Of course one will miss. Ein puño impera. Ein porro. Alright, let's go on the move. Bombard towers are out of the game. Very good. I want you to just go straight for the castle. Oh wow, destroys him. Bad feeling. 
feeling about this. Um, could you maybe fire a few more? Let's go for the castle. Alright, so the trebuchets are gone, but the rams are still going strong. Well, two of them are. It's just such, like, uh, with the rams it would have been so much faster. Destroy the tower! <laughs> yeah, it's a total slug fest. One more attack. Again, I apologize. I think the fact that I know I can't have a lot of resources has encouraged me to attack earlier than I normally would. Which, ironically, has probably made the mission last longer. Strange, I know. Alright. They're really enjoying the stables they got back there, so let's deal with that. So non ram, you're looking for units. Ay, 
Military buildings. I wonder if they even meant tower. We'll find out in a second here. They also have a blacksmith over there. This is not yes. over, Sforza. I swear that I will hunt you down to the farthest ends of Italy. Feels good for it to be done. Swartzen and Piccinino were like two alley dogs fighting over a scrap of meat. They were natural rivals, precisely because they were so alike. Of the two, Sforza had a certain pedigree. If you could call being the bastard of a mercenary captain, Pedigree. From his father, Sforza inherited his forbidsia, cunning, and used it to get the best of his rivals, his patrons, and his women alike. Piccinino, the son of a butcher, came into the profession as a soldier. He rose through the ranks and became an advisor to a trusting, yet incompetent condottiero. In this position, Piccinino lured his captain into an ambush and took command of the company. That Sforza and Piccinino would, years later, become blood enemies was as inevitable as two dogs fighting over a single piece of meat. So we're blood enemies with Piccinino, which is great! But that was part two, his own man. Don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe, let me know what you thought of part two in the comments below and i will see you in the next one for part three prodigal son